I'm Esmeralda and I'm from New York. I'm here to see Dr. Jones. And I'm a nursing assistant and I also deliver car parts. I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Dr. Jones. How are you? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Hi, Mom. Hi. How are you? Fine. I want to hear in your words what it is that you're looking to achieve and why. I've always wanted to have a nice round butt. You know, the butt you could twerk with. <laughs> I want to have a booty twerk. Mom, you're okay with all this? <laughs> I support everything. You support everything, even the yes, twerking. I just want to feel beautiful. And I think that if you work on me, I'm unbelievable. Are you bummed out about your bottom? Burnt out with your behind? Well, a Brazilian butt lift might be the perfect solution for you. My name is Dr. Michael Jones. I'm a double board certified cosmetic and reconstructive surgeon and founder of Lexington Plastic Surgeons. And my name is Kathleen Trick Jones, aside from being his wife and partner. I'm also a producer and actress, and you may know us from our hit TV show, We Are the Joneses. The video you're about to see is an explanation of what you can expect at Lexington Plastic Surgeons for a Brazilian butt lift. Our number one priority is you as a patient. We want to make sure you feel comfortable and well-informed about this surgery. It's one of the most requested procedures that we have here at Lexington Plastic Surgeons. So what exactly is a Brazilian butt lift? Well, a Brazilian butt lift is a wonderful twofer. You're getting two procedures for one. We're taking that from your entire midsection, the front, the sides, the upper and lower back, and we're transferring your fat to kind of shape your derriere, to give you more projection, to give you more shapely hips, to give you that wonderful hourglass figure. Many patients come asking about butt implants, and I know that's very different from a Brazilian butt lift. What is the difference, and why don't you do implants? Using implants to augment the shape of the butt is something that we don't do at Lexington Plastic Surgeons, primarily because these are hard implants. They're silicone-based there's a high risk of them getting infected. They also have a potential to move. And then the last reason is because that incision is a bigger incision than we need to make when we're doing the fat transfers. And the implants sometimes can try to extrude or push themselves back out through that implant, that incision rather. So we rather use your own body fat, doing 360 degree liposuction, maybe even taking fat from the arms or from the thighs, and augmenting your butt, giving you the shape that you want, whether it's a bubble butt, whether it's a heart-shaped butt, whether it's an urban booty. We do it all at Lexington Plastic Surgeons. And who doesn't want to get rid of the fat everywhere else and put it in the right places? That's right. Who is the ideal candidate for a Brazilian butt lift? Well, the ideal candidate for a Brazilian butt lift or any surgical elective procedure is someone who is healthy, someone who's not a smoker, someone who has enough fat for us to actually harvest and put into the derriere. Now, with any procedure, there are risks. What are some of the risks that are associated with the Brazilian butt lift? Well, that's a great question. And, and every surgery, no matter how minor it is, has risks. Bleeding is one of those risks. And the compression garment is used to help stop that bleeding postoperatively. Infection is another risk. We give you antibiotics before, during, and after to prevent that. Um, with liposuction, there is potential irregularities to the skin. Sometimes there might be some creases that develop if the liposuction is, is too close to the skin. Puncturing of internal organs is a possibility with liposuction, absolutely. Further risks include, but are not limited to, asymmetry, fat necrosis, fat resorption, calcification, fat embolization, coma, stroke, heart attack, or death. Medical clearance will be obtained in order to minimize any risks of surgery. So after booking your free consultation, your very first meeting at Lexington Plastic Surgeons will be with one of our patient consultants. At this meeting, you're going to learn about the procedure in person, and you'll be able to ask any questions that you may have, as well as fill out any necessary paperwork. Next, you will meet with a nurse practitioner and or one of our surgeons who will review the procedure and perform a full medical exam to ensure you are the ideal clinical candidate for this surgery. Have you thought about the type of shape that you want? You want a heart shape, a bubble butt? All the right. bubble butt, it sounds stinky. I don't want the that. The bubble <laughs> butt. Yeah, bubble butt, I'm like, well, I want a nice little round. Okay. Just round me out, maybe a little lift. I All right, it. okay. All right. You know I'm you'll, gonna take myself twerking in the pool. You'll, you'll I'm be, gonna send you that. What? I have never had a patient tell me that they're gonna send me a picture of them twerking. Your uh -huh. love handles are almost as wide as your hips. 
Mm -hmm. And so that creates a very boxy, square look. SpongeBob. SpongeBob, yes, it creates a, a square. My butt is very square, and I just don't like it at all. And so we want to get rid of that by taking this in. That automatically is gonna make your figure look so much better. So let's take a look at the back now. Now with the back, there's a lot that's gonna change back here because you have several rolls. You have rolls under the arm. You have a roll here. The bread. Yep, and then you've got it right in here. Now the nice- Every day, the nice, Is it mucho pan? Mucho pan! <laughs> mucho pan. Okay. Now the problem is that- This pan. is just not right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now, the good thing rather is that these rolls are gonna disappear. The skin in the back is thick enough that we can shrink this down it's gonna snap back very nicely. So once we liposuction this, you're almost gonna lose all of these, these rolls mm -hmm. back here. Yay. And this tire, once we get rid of this tire, this tire here is making you look like a V, a square or a V. I can't even wear a dress. So, so I look like SpongeBob in well, a dress. Well, you're gonna be able to, you're gonna wear a nice dress after this is done because we're gonna take this in. We're gonna round out your hips because when you look at the hips, you can see this is kind of like a depressant right uh -huh. on the sides. So we're going to fill out this, we're going to round this out. And half oh. of what we do in this procedure, we're creating an illusion that the rear has been lifted because we don't really lift the butt in the Brazilian butt lift. We create the illusion that the rear has been lifted by rounding out the sides here, oh. putting a lot of the fat right in here to give you more projection, oh, okay. more roundness. And we're going to put some here as well to kind of make it look heart shaped. Mm -hmm. Taking this in, rounding this out, and rounding out a little bit in here. So I, I mean, I think your back is going to look wonderful. Okay. Um, it's going to have a big change from where it is now. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Twerk, twerk, twerk. I can't twerk nothing now. Pretty much everything we take out, we're going to be putting in. Here. And I could salsa. You'll be able to. You, you, you can salsa now. Yeah, but it's not a good look. You look hot. <laughs> Everyone has a certain shape, and in her case, her shape kind of lent itself mostly to a heart shape. I can't work, I can't. Oh no, it looks so square. At the time you book your surgery, your patient consultant will give you a set of pre-op and post-operative instructions. Now we won't get into all of that right now because you're gonna get a handout, but it's very important that you follow these instructions to the letter. That's right. One of the most important of these being that you must not eat anything after midnight or drink anything. This includes lifesavers or mints. One or two days prior to your surgery, you will also receive a call from either the operating room nurse or one of our other staff to go over the instructions with you. Now, because you're gonna be sedated for this surgery, you must have an adult to escort you home after your procedure. You will also want to fill any prescriptions you were given, such as antibiotics, painkillers, so you won't have to worry about that on the day of surgery. On the day of your surgery, you will arrive at the designated time and sign in with our receptionist. You will then be greeted by your nurse or nurse practitioner and taken to an exam room where she'll take your vital signs and do all of the prep work necessary for your surgery. Hi, Esmeralda. How are you doing? I'm fine. Nice you? to meet you. I heard lots about you. You will then meet with your anesthesiologist, who will go over all the steps he or she will take before, during, and after your procedure. Next will be your preoperative meeting with your surgeon. Esmeralda, are you ready? <laughs> so ready. All right. Yes. Well, Did you like kiwi just scrub? No, hey, I'm you so like used it? to the pocket square. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. No pocket square today. Today is your day. And mom, how you feeling? Mm -hmm. This is when the surgeon will take photos and make markings on your body with a special pen. So now it's time for the marking. Magic. Find out you're an artist. And all this is just important because when you lay down, I need to know where the 
where the Body most changes. Yeah, mm. where the most contour. I look skinny when I lay down. And now we go to the back. Oh, the best part. We have several rolls back here. So the contour map is showing us where those rolls are so that when you lie down, we can eliminate all those rolls. And people tell me I look fabulous, lying to me all the time. They're not lying, you look fabulous. We just want to make you more fabulous. So mom, you approve? Bien bonito. See? It's beautiful. The fat is going in here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mucho grasa aquí. Uh-huh. Entonces saca la grasa uh -huh. este parte. Okay, okay, I got it. These markings will act as a kind of roadmap for how the surgeon will conduct your procedure and achieve the best possible results. Next, you will walk into the OR and be assisted onto the operating table. Our anesthesiologist will administer the medications appropriate for you, so you won't feel anything when we operate. A numbing agent will be injected into the surgical area that will reduce bleeding and help with the pain and swelling after surgery. There are some doctors who will do this procedure under local. For me, it's much better in a controlled setting. We can be more aggressive in the fact that we remove. We can be more aggressive with the fact that we put in when the patient is under general anesthesia. During surgery, we'll also apply a non-narcotic pain medication to your surgical site called Expirel. Expirel is long-lasting, which means you'll need fewer doses of other pain medications like opioids during your recovery period. Prior to surgery, we will have taken your blood and made what's called platelet-rich plasma. This is actually your own blood, which we have spun down and separated so that we get platelets. The platelets have a product called platelet-derived growth factor, which aids in your wound healing better and faster. We apply this red gold, as I like to call it, before closing and along the scar line afterward. When you give me the syringes, I'm just gonna want them in a, in a bowl, ready to rock and roll. You got it. So just be, you're gonna, I'm gonna be handing them to you. And now, giving her some hips that people will appreciate, or she will appreciate from the front. Many of our patients ask, you know, hey, I, I want someone to know that I have a big butt as I walk down the street from the front, not just from the back. And so by giving them a little more in the hips, it kind of gives you a sense that there's something in the back as well. Always injecting on withdrawal, never on insertion, always on withdrawal. It helps prevent fat embolism, also helps to lay the fat down nice and evenly. This is the, the shape, the contour that that we're creating. It really, it's, we're sculpting. And we're sculpting with that. It really makes a huge difference. So, we were able to get rid of the fat that was causing the prominences in those. And so now we're just hoping that the skin will contract nicely so it'll be nice and flat along her back instead of having the rolls after rolls after rolls. Like I said, most of what we do in this procedure is sculpting around the butt. She had a very flat lower back before, and what we've done here really is carved out 
this lower back so that she has a deeper sway. Once we took this fat out, she now has a tenth of skin, and when that skin shrinks back down, it's gonna be way down in here in the valley, and thus, just this alone, the difference between where my fingers are and where the top of her rear is, is significantly different than what it was before. So she's gonna see it different. If we did no fat transfer at all, she already has an improved shape here. So now, we're gonna start filling. You can see the difference between the two sides. You can see how much rounding there is in the hip region, how much overall projection there is here. If we were to place this cannula here, you can see the difference in height that we now have. Here you can see just how much deeper now she has in the sway of her back here. From the height of the, the maximal point of projection down to the valley and the lumbar area, you can just see a nice depression here that she didn't have before. It was much flatter in this area so that when she wore her pants, her pants just made her butt look very flat. But now we've created a nice valley for her. A nice little ski slope here. Once your surgery is complete, the anesthesiologist will wake you and you'll head to the recovery room. That's what I'll do. Hi. Hey. Good morning. We're all finished. You're waking up our surgery. You did great. You're going to be very happy. Dr. Jones is very happy. Most of our patients are back to work after a week. The skin from the liposuction needs about three to six months before it completely contracts. We now have these pillows, these booty buddy pillows, that allow the patients to actually sit on their thighs as opposed to sitting on their butt. Because if you sit on your butt or if you lay on your back while you're sleeping, there's not any blood getting to that newly transferred fat and that fat needs oxygen. Okay. <laughs> There's also a garment that patients would need to wear, and how long do they have to keep that on? I recommend that our patients wear it 24-7 for the first month. I would ideally like them to continue to wear it for a whole year, if at all possible, even if it's just six to eight hours in a day. What surprised me the most after the surgery was my butt. To actually see a round booty, it was fabulous. That's the first thing they really Stuck out. <laughs> there she oh is. God, the man of the hour. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh, it's good to see you. You look so great. How are you feeling, feeling though? I'm good. Just a little yeah. sore. All right. Well, that's to be expected. Where's mom? I left her home. You left her home. I wanted to see her. Oh, she wanted to see you too. She oh. said that you're magical. That was her words. Is that right? She's ecstatic of the results. She cannot believe what Dr. Jones created. It's nice and round, it's not square. And anything I put on looks good. I fill it out properly. Well, that's looking great. Okay. But look at this shape. Can you I mean, believe it? I can't believe you, it. You did it. <laughs> I mean, in your words, you look like SpongeBob before. <laughs> And now you got a nice little hourglass going on here, all right? <laughs> and, and I think you were talking about doing a lot of twerking. <laughs> oh my I, God. I don't know if you are still have that on the agenda, but wow, this looks, this looks oh, great. I know so this is, I know, I know that's a little sore there. But your incisions look great. Your skin is contracting very nicely. You've got nice hips now. And okay, looking very good. Looking very good. Nice projection here. Wow. Look at that. That looks yes. great. We even created a little crease for you. Very nice. All right, go ahead and cover back up. Now it's like a new lease on life. I'm, I'm eating healthy. I love what I see in the mirror. I love getting dressed. I look forward to it now because I know I'm going to look good in my clothes. It's, it's wonderful. 
it's fabulous. I'm still learning the radius of my butt, but I'm getting there. Now. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this is this was you. Oh my God. <laughs> it's hard to believe, right? Look at that, those the rolls you gave there. Gave me a nice round illusion there, which I love. Yes. I tried on a dress. I look fabulous. You do. You I look, look at really this. Really good in a dress. In the end, Esmeralda turned out very nicely. She started off looking like square pants, SpongeBob, and uh, she now has a nice curvaceous shape. And and really, that's that's half of what we do in doing this procedure. I mean, look at this. Looked almost like a V. You said look like SpongeBob, but it almost looked <laughs> like a V. And now look how round that is. And the waistline is much, much t more tapered now. We got rid of some of the rolls in the upper back and, and all this skin is still contracting. So it's only gonna get better. You know, wow. you're really just so at the I'll, beginning. I will get smaller than that if Your I continue waistline. my dieting because I've been eating well. Absolutely, you're so, gonna get you're gonna get uh, smaller. I do have a question, that. however. Yes. When I go back to the gym and I start losing more fat, would I lose a lot of the fat that you put in there? Mm, yes, but you're going to be losing fat everywhere. You're going to lose the fat all over the body. So the proportions will actually stay the same. So your hourglass will just be still an hourglass, but it'll be a smaller hourglass. Okay. You're the, when you weigh, wear a nice form-fitting dress and your silhouette, when you look at your silhouette on the side, you're still going to have the oh projection. Fabulous. It's just That's what I was smaller. worried about. No. So I could still do my, my uh, sit-ups and my squats and still it would just make me look all. better. Exactly. Yeah. We, we want you to continue to be healthy now. This is a jump start now. Yes. And you know what, doctor? You really listened to me. Okay. I wanted something tasteful that looks real. You did that. That's right. It looks fabulous. Well, good, Thank you. good. I'm Thank very happy so for you. So what does mom think? Mom thinks that you're a miracle worker. The whole train right back to Brooklyn, she tried to convince me not to. Oh my God. Now she brags about Dr. Jones. Can you oh, imagine? That's very sweet. You know, my mom has a little crush on you. She does. I know. Well, she's so <laughs> sweet. I mean, I, 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 I love her. I never thought that my backside could look so original. I thought it would look fake but it looks like it would always belong there. It was so worth it. And you're gonna keep getting better. I'm so happy. Good. <laughs> All right. Dr. Jones exceeded my expectations. I am so happy. I just love him. I love him and I love his mother for having him. So we will see you in one month. If there's okay. anything that you need between now and then, you give me a call. I will. Thank okay. you so much, Dr. You're welcome. Oh my goodness. Well, we hope that this video has made you more knowledgeable about this procedure and what to expect should you decide to have a Brazilian butt lift. And we look forward to seeing you here at Lexington Plastic Surgeons. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter.